Yeah. But we have been reminded this afternoon that the church of God is alive and well. It might look dead sometime. It might look like we don't have no life. But this afternoon, the church of God is alive. The enemy will attack from the left, from the right. But we have been reminded that in spite of how it look, oh glory, say to yourself, the church of God is alive. The church can never go down in spite of the bruises, in spite of the knocks. But the church triumphant oh glory hallelujah why is it alive because the father the son of the holy ghost is the leader of the church of god not me not you not your brother that's why he cannot die oh god deserve a praise we are in the church that's still alive Oh, hallelujah. We'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that will never bless, that will never dry up because our root is connected to Jesus. Our root is connected to the source, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. What a word in that song. The church triumphant. The devil can't win because the church of God will be triumphant in the morning, triumphant in the evening, triumphant in the noon. Oh, give God a praise. Give God a praise. I feel like Jeremiah. I feel like fire. Shut up in my bones. The church of God is alive. It's looking like it's gonna lose, but because Jesus is the driver. Oh God, let me greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. The name above all name, because of the name of Jesus, every day. Shout out glory to God. Everybody who never called on Jesus is calling on Jesus now. They realize that their God shall help them. They realize that doctors can help. They realize that money can help. But Jesus is a present help in the time of the trouble. And when everything fear, but we want to choose it first. As a songwriter said, if you try everything, if you try everything, you try to hold your man in the work, you try to read up in the work, you try to stand sick in the work, you try not to bustle. In the work, you try to hide shoe on the door. In the work, they say when you try everything, but the mistake is you should try Jesus first because Jesus never, never is the never failing. Well, the church of God, triumphant, is alive in the morning. Yes. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Glory to God. The word of the Lord comes in brief from Daniel chapter 3. Oh, hallelujah. Daniel chapter 3. Verse 2 said that Nebuchadnezzar, the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains. The judges, all of them. The treasurers, all of them. The counselors, all of them. Even the sheriffs of all the rulers. The Bible didn't say some. The Bible said all the rulers, all of those in charge of the providences, to come to the dedication 
of what look like a God sister baby of what stand up like the powerful of what look like it can heal but it can heal of what look like a God but the only God sister then he is the God Jehovah sister then the only God that we know is Jehovah Jireh not the God that does the set or set up that God can heal Amen. oh glory he gather all of these people to come to worship this idol God. And in verse 6 it says, And also fall it not down and worship. Shall the same hour be cast into the midst of the fiery burning furnace. What is he saying if you decide that you're not going to bow down to the God that I have some men built, to the God that I put some blocks to make, if you decide that you're not going to worship the idol God, you're going to be put in the fiery furnace. But you give us you can burn me as much as you want, but me and done with Jesus. You can burn me as much as you want, but if you put me in the furnace, I'm gonna stand for God. If you turn it 70 times, hot top, and Jesus will live, and for Jesus will die. Oh God, you might be the fiery furnace, but stand up this summer and say, for Jesus, be a soldier of the cross. And when you are a soldier, even when you're near, have two bullets in it. I watched the Iraq war. And many of the soldiers that I saw lying on the ground, I saw blood in the back of their heads, on their feet, but they didn't die. They were wounded. And even though they were wounded, they still fight. They still fight until no life left. My God Almighty. If you refuse to worship the false God, you will be thrown in the burning fiery furnace. Verse 11 said, And whoso falleth not down and worship glory mm -hmm. that he should be cast weird into the midst the in the middle of the burning and the other word fiery the word fiery don't mean a regular fire it means a hot extra hot fire yes. Yes. not lukewarm and as children of God if we're lukewarm it will be spewed out you see that you're hot are you cool? And I'm advising us to be hot because when the devil come, if you're cool, he will mash you up. But when he come and realize that the Father is working, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost fire, he will pass you or mess a little while, but keep going. You will be thrown in the middle of glory, of the fiery furnace. There are certain Jews you hear how he's casting it now. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over their fears. Believe they are in charge of the providence of Babylon. Would you like their names, sir? Their names are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These are the men that think they are tough. These are the men that think that their Holy Ghost fill water baptized. Jesus has their mind and they will not bow to any false God. Well, tell the devil in his face if he come, say me now bend down, me now bow to no false God. Only the true and living God. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Oh, King. How they have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods with an S and the N. So all the little gods that you set up. And everybody's coming morning, noon, and night. Bowing to them. 
There is three young men that think they're big and bad. But little do they know that little is much when God is on the inside. They might not be big like their God that he set up. But because Jesus wants us to say God is bigger than all your problems, bigger than all your fears. If you trust God, even if they throw you in the middle of the fiery furnace, just keep moving. Because Jesus will send us spiritual, air condition, and go down the fire. If God be for us, who can be against us? My Lord. That's the word of God. Amen. Verse 14. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them. Now he's talking to them now. Use your imagination. The three young men stand up. They look simple. They look like they can't fight any strong man. But because they know that they're packeting with Jesus, they fear no foe. And they decided to stand. If you want to burn me, you burn me. If you want to kill me, you kill me. But Jesus is who I'm going to hold on to. Not the false God that you set up. Your false God can't heal. Your false God can't touch. Your false God can't deliver. But the God in whom we serve is a deliverer. The God in whom we serve is a provider and a healer. And for them, they're saying he's a present help. Since I need a present help, they believe God and they trust God that in spite of their own physical is here. But if you throw me in the fire, you can't do what you can but believe me. My faith tells me that the God in whom I serve will come through for me. We're sending a 10,000 BTU. Here condition, spiritually, and cool it down. They have faith and they believe their God. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and he called their name, and Abednego, he wanted to hear it for himself. They told him what he wanted proof that they think they are really not big and bad. My do not he serve my gods. Now worship the golden image which I set up. Don't you give us a me now bow to no other God. Me now bend down to no other God. But God that delivers. But the God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. That's the God I will bow down to. Because of the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. The black knee. The white knee. The rich knee. I was watching the news. I feel the power of God. I feel the anointing. Every knee shall bow. Oh God. Oh God Almighty. Every knee shall bow. When you go to your fire, the God of Isaac will be with you. One son said, We'll go through the fire, but we'll never get burned. Yes. You know why? Because every time the fire come on the right, Jesus chose some water. When the fire come on the left, Jesus chose some water. When the fire come from above, Jesus has dashed a spiritual wall. So the devil can't understand how you stand up when you're in the fire, but you feel like fire shut up. Because Jesus is with you. You don't need a body else if Jesus goes with me. Yeah. Oh, give God a praise. Yeah. Give God a praise. Yeah. Give God a shout. Yeah. Oh, I feel yeah. like fire. The fire. The fire. The fire. The fire of God. I feel the fire. Don't you give us a get some of the fire? Don't you give us a get some of the fire? Get some of the fire. There are things that only the Holy Ghost fire can burn out. Fire and I can't do it. Ben Gay can't do it. Rubbing alcohol can't do it, Sister Bell. 
But the fire of the Holy Ghost, when it touches it, it will burn it. Yes. Oh, God Almighty. Verse 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they call the name again. And hear what they say. Answered and said to the big bad king, Oh, Nebuchadnezzar. They call him by his name. They were respectful. They were brought up with manners. Oh, King Nebuchadnezzar. Let me pause there. We are not careful to answer thee. They don't want to rush in any answer. They want to hear directly from the throne of glory. That's why the song said, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew your strength. And when you wait, you will mount up, Sister Dean, like the wings of the eagle. All you have to do is you wait. In Ecclesiastes 3, he said there's a time and a season. All you got to do is wait. They didn't rush. They didn't rush. They said, B, we are not careful to answer thee right now in this matter. But if it be so, oh my God, our God, he didn't say your gods. Because they know, touch yourself and say, my God is an awesome God. He reigns forever and above. That's your God. Yes, my God. Oh my God. He said, they say, if it be so, our God, and I like this part, whom we serve, and they speak with great confidence, is no if and or but, whom we serve is able to deliver us, sister baby, from the burning fiery furnace, that he will deliver us out of your hands, so you can do what you want, set the fire as hot as you want, put some more pimento wood in the fire, it doesn't matter because guess what, the God that we serve is able, have the ability to deliver, have the ability, if it's fire it can deliver, if it's blood it can deliver, that's the God that we serve. And when you serve God that we serve, the Almighty God, you need not to fear. You need not to worry. The song says, I have somebody with me. To what? To share what? To share your heavy load means sometimes the load will get heavy. But the songwriter of Pandita said, I can feel his presence. Near me every day. Hallelujah. Coming down. Praise God. In 14 verse. Nebuchadnezzar spake. And said unto them. Is it true? And he have respect as when he always called their name. Oh Shadrach. Meshach. And Abednego. Do not ye serve my gods. Now worship the golden image which who set up? I set up. In verse 16, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer this matter. Yes. And in verse 21, he said that these men were bound in their coats, yes. their hose and their hats, yes. and their other garments. And what happened to them? They were cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. Oh my God. But what I like is verse 25. He answered and said, I see four men that deserves a hand clap, that deserves a praise. Remember, he threw three men. In 
the fire. But what did I tell you about God being a present help in the time of your fire? What did I tell you about God being an omnipresent help when it looked like your foot gonna burn, your hand gonna burn, your head gonna burn, but Jesus stepped in. Once Jesus stepped in the fire, he had to instantly cool because Jesus in charge. They had a, um, a program once that said Charles in charge, something like that years ago. But Jesus is in charge. He answered and said, I see four men, and what I like, he said, loose. Remember them, tie them up and throw them down there and wrap them up. That means there is no way of escape. But here comes Jesus and says, wait a minute. Shadrach is one of my sons. Hold on a second. Shadrach, Meshach is another one. I see a truck a bit. Wait a minute. You can't touch Shadrach, Meshach, and a bit to go. After all, they've been true for me. They stand up for me. They proclaim Jesus Christ and him crucified. Who dare you throw them in the fire? And I can see Jesus just say, Gabriel, where are you? Angel Gabriel and the Lord of this part of angels as they surround the fire furnace. Surround it. I'm about to do a new thing. I'm about to step in the middle. But I want you to just guard it. No interference. Surround them. And so it is that when you're in your fire, God will send dear friend and then Jesus himself will show up. Coming down. Yes, oh my God. He answered and said, I see four men. And I like the word loose. Yes. When something is loose, oh my God. I used to stare on donkeys a lot when I was a boy growing up. And we always have a rope around the donkey's neck to lead him. And every time we go, we tie the donkey where a green patch of grass is. Those of us who know from the country. With a rope. So if there's a green patch of grass on your neighbor's side, you stretch the rope to the end. So if the donkey wants to go on the neighbor's side, it will belong to us. When the donkey tries to step over because the rope is at the end of the rope, he's tied. He can't go any further. But there comes a time when we take the rope off the donkey. And the donkey see the green patch of grass. Not realizing that he's free. But because he's used to being tied up by the rope. He go right to the edge of the green grass. And look at the neighbor's grass. And will never touch it. Because in his mind he say I'm tied still. I am not free. But here we see Jesus stepping. And the three Hebrew boys realize that the deliverer is with them. Right eyes with them, and his name is Jesus. He was Martin Luther said, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we know we're bound. Oh, give God praise. Once our eyes in the chains have been broken. Let me close the Bible because I feel God coming on. The chains have been broken. There is no more chains holding me. The chains was once holding us. But when Jesus steps in, the tempter's power is broken. When Jesus passed by all fears and tears, are wiped away. He takes away the gloom and fill our hearts with glory. Oh, for all is changed when Jesus comes. To stay. Yes. Thank God that we serve a delivering God. Yes. Thank God that we serve a God yes. that, in spite of what the Nebuchadnezzar tries to do, yes. the God of Abraham, yes. the God of Isaac, yes. the God of Jacob will be with you. Yes. He said He will never leave you, not forsake you. And in spite of how Nebuchadnezzar turned up the fire hot, God one day is going to step in and look at all Nebuchadnezzar as they stand back and see the salvation of God's people. Because even though it looks 
a light that gets it burned, but God will send a spiritual to that. What a mighty God we serve! Oh, glory to God! What a mighty God we serve! Oh, Jesus! Oh, I feel the fire of God! I feel the fire of God! Oh, God! I'm going to go and I read it. For those of us that cook, when you're cooking many times, Hallelujah. and if you turn the fire down too low, before you put in the yellow yam, when you look in the pot and the water is not boiling, it went in yellow, but it looks black. After. Am I talking to you ladies? Talk to me. You go in nice and yellow, but after five minutes when you thought you have some good, ready yellow yam, because the fire was low, it looks black and it don't taste right. We're asking God to keep the fire burning on the inside. So when the devil comes with his ends and his pins, and when he touch you, he says, I feel something shackling, I feel something burning, because the fire of God is on the inside, working on the outside. Oh God. So if you all want to change, let the church be the church. Let the church be the church. Let the church of God be the church. Oh God Almighty. What I like and I close the book is a Shedra Misha. And a pentacle. Mm. Remember, it's three of them. Yes. And the king. Mm. They could join together and say, We're going to beat him. Yes. But they just stand still yes. and see the salvation yes. of the Lord. Yes. May God bless you. Yes. Keep the fire of God on the inside. Yes. And when the enemy comes, we'll be able to identify him yes. Yes. and say, Here he goes. But guess what? Jesus is in charge. Not Charles in charge, but Jesus is in charge. And when Jesus is in your vessel, you can smile on any knees. Because many times the enemy wants you out. The enemy wants you weak. But you forget who you are connected to. Like on Edison, if you pay your car Edison bill, your light bill, when you go home and turn on your switch, you expect light to come on. Of course, yes. If you don't pay your bill when you're going home, you say, Lord Jesus, help me. Yes. Because when you go home, TV don't work. Uh -huh. Phone don't work. Light don't work. Uh -huh. Nothing don't work because you're disconnected by Con Edison. Uh -huh. But when you're connected to Jesus, the sunrise is central, never busy. He's always on the line. You can hear from heaven, not just tomorrow, but almost any time. No interruption on the line. No WhatsApp interruption, but you have a clean connection. Still connected to Jesus. Oh, glory. Still connected to Jesus. Plug in to Jesus. And don't plug it out. Oh God Almighty, I feel it, God. I feel it, God. I'm here we have. Oh, I feel the fire of God. I want to go and I'm holding for God. Oh God Almighty. When you're connected, let me move the Bible. When you're connected to Jesus, yes. my God, there will be no disconnection, Amen. no red envelope like you get from Can Edison. Reverend Ben, when you don't pay your bill, when you open the mail and you see the regular Can Edison bill, but on the outside they have a way of it, a red mark, and the mark is treat, meaning danger, danger. 
I want you all to say you have three days before your light or whatever it is will be disconnected. Then you start to worry. But when you plug into Jesus, when you connect to Jesus, you don't have to worry about any red meal coming to you. You just have to keep charge. Down on your knees when trouble rises. You call to Jesus. Amen. Stand with me, church. Oh, give God a praise wherever you are. Give God a praise. Oh, I feel the fire shut up. Oh, God Almighty, I feel the fire shut up. Shut up in my bones. I feel the fire of God. Oh. God, as I come before you right now, I thank you for the words that you have embedded in my spirit. God, I deliver it just thus said God. I didn't cut it, God. I didn't trim it. It's the Pentecostal fire. As we're about to go, God, let's keep the fire of God. Let's remember that even in the fire, you are a deliverer. Even in the flood, you are a deliverer. As we are going through, God, we pray that you will be with us. Don't leave us, don't forsake us. In spite of our down sitting and all, God, our mistakes. Stand by us, you sense when the storms of life are raging, God. Stand by us when we do the best we can. And we know you understand. But in the midst of tribulation, stand by us, God. Cover us under your blood. If there's one of the line, God, that don't know you, I pray you touch that sinner. Oh, all you have to do is confess. If you're on the line, just confess that say, Jesus, I'm a sinner. But Lord God, forgive me of my sins. Wash me, cleanse me. And let me to become a child of God. And your faith can be with your heart, you believe it, with your mouth, you confess it. It's not no magic, it's simple. Your faith. As we go to the remainder, oh God, of this week. Oh God, I pray for the service on Sunday that revival will break out. God, is a one-day revival, but God, we pray that the Father will show up. Even in our homes, the service, the church, before we show up. The Son will show up. And the Holy Ghost will show up that God on Sunday. I pray true will happen like never before. Even in the time of a pandemic, that the fire of God will come true. Cover us under your blood. And as we go through the remainder of this week, we pray that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost will be with us now. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Give God a praise. Yeah. Give God a praise. Yeah. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Thank God for another day in His house. I gave it just the way the Lord gave it to me. I felt the virtue left my body. Mm. Oh God. Thank you. God, I deliver it just the sin. God. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Father God, I thank you. Like I always say, don't let nobody steal your joy. Mm. This joy that you have, the world didn't yeah. give it. And yeah. the world yeah. cannot take it. Yeah. Oh, wait. Praise God, praise God. Stand with me, church. May God bless you, may God keep you. In Jesus' name. Lift your hands with me. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Bless, preserve, and keep us all until we meet again. Let all God's people say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed evening, everyone.